the summary of it. The summary of it is that we cannot run away from this stark reality that Nigeria has to be restructured. Whether it is the restructuring that gives more powers to states or a return to the regional arrangement of the past or the restructuring that allows restructuring that allows parts of the country that want to go and stand as independent nation. Whatever that restructuring means, we must not run away from it. And our position as bishop, and I must say now, I'm carrying you along as a diocese, is that if we continue to pretend that all is well, we will keep bleeding, bleeding profusely. And very soon, there might be nothing called Nigeria. Instead of our killing ourselves under the pretext of remaining one indivisible on a, a, a nation, some people say Nigeria's unity is non negotiable. I want to see how it is negotiable. This thing, this thing is like marriage. You don't force two people to get married. We have been forced into a marriage that is hurting us. And every day we are dying. I'm pretending to be one. Please, instead of our killing ourselves, and there will be no Nigeria left, let us come to, come to a round table like this. Bring Nigeria as a cake. Bring one big knife and share the cake. Share the cake. Share the cake. Praise the Lord. I believe that if Nigeria is restructured, we will develop better. I believe that if Nigeria is restructured, we will respect one another. So let us not pretend to be one when we are not one. Can two work together except they be agreed? Our leaders must shun all forms of hypocrisy and support this move. From the architecture of this problem, those waiting for the agitation to go away may wait forever. The time to act is now. We also wrote something on the continued marginalization and trampling of the rights of Christians in this country. It is so bad. And one of such recent marginalization and trampling of our rights, maybe even a blacker would tell us better, is a subtle removal of CRK from the curriculum of our national uh, uh, examination bodies like NECO. We must, we must speak up as Christians and those of our members who are in strategic position must not keep quiet. If you are removing CRK, remove Islamic religious studies, remove Arabic studies, remove ATR everything that has to do with religion remove it you don't remove one because you want to give advantage to the other 
that is unacceptable to us and we will resist it as people of God. We also we also wrote something on careless and unguarded utterances by our political leaders. Much of the tension in this country is caused by what our leaders are saying. When a governor will say, I will not guarantee the safety of a Christian who eats during Ramadan. That governor is careless, irresponsible, and does not deserve that public office. Because when we are fasting, we are not compelling other people to fast. So why should Christians not have liberty to eat? Because other people are fasting. That is an irresponsible utterance by a governor. And it is not helpful to this nation. Our leaders are known to make volatile statements. Political leaders, traditional leaders, leaders of the National Assembly, leaders in the executive. It will not help our country. So our leaders must be careful. If we want to remain as one, we must avoid saying things that will provoke the other section of the country. It's a warning. It's also an advice. So we enjoin all political leaders to watch their utterances. The security and well-being of the country, of the citizenry, is of much more importance than primordial political gains or religion. The polity is already heated, and the fabrics of our national cohesion terribly stretched. The careless utterances by our leaders in the guise of defense of ethnic, political, and religious interest is enough fire to set the nation on the path of self-induced conflagration with telling consequences. If truly we treasure our continued existence as a people of one nation, the present day government and its security apparatus must appear and act at all times in a fair and just manner when issues of hate speech heat up the polity. In as much as we commend the acting president Osibanjo's actions and series of meetings to arrest the situation, we demand that the government must divest itself of every vestige of partiality and religious bias when these issues occur. Mere condemnation of such utterances without any form of action to punish offenders amounts to bare-faced hypocrisy and nothing more. Nigeria is bigger than any person, political affiliation, or religious fanaticism. If we keep toying with the current gale of careless utterances and hate speech, we will only arrive at one destination. That is calamity. On their part, the media must redefine their news values, in this case, to reflect national exigencies. Their reportage of the activities and utterances of political, religious, and ethnic groups and persons must put the nation first. Again, bloggers on the social media should not provide their platforms for fanning the embers of disunity, pension, and incitement to violence. We must all remember the Rwandan genocide of 1994, the Kenyan election crisis of 2007, and the Nazi atrocities in the Second World War. These all share one thing in common, hate speeches and careless utterances by leaders. In summary, our position on the state of our dear nation is that our leaders and indeed the citizenry must imbibe a culture of discipline in all we do 
to solve a myriad of problems. If the politician imbibes discipline on matters of politics, public finances, and projects, if our electoral umpires commit to discipline in overseeing elections and reflecting the people's choice in results, if teachers imbibe discipline in their relationship with their students, if ministers of the gospel show and teach discipline, if those in the civil service entrusted with public funds go about their duties with discipline, if ordinary citizens show personal discipline within and outside their homes, then more than 90% of our national problems would have been solved. A nation without discipline is dead on arrival.